The fading lorry on side travelled to Strasbourg with both sides desperate for a win, but for different reasons. Strasbourg boss Julian Stefan's position is in serious threat following a very poor start to the season. There's still just one win on the board after 14 matches, fewer than any other team in the league. Emelu, meanwhile, started the season in incredible fashion, even having the chance to usurp PSG at the summit at one point. The wheels had fallen off and they were now winless in four and outside the top five. They started this game in full attack mode though and were rewarded with an early lead. The fifth minute corner falling to Terem Moffi at the back post. Goals in back-to-back -back games and number 10 for the season. Only Kylian Mbappe and Neymar sit ahead of the Nigerian in the scoring charts. The visitors decided to sit back after breaking the deadlock and allowed Strasbourg to move the ball around, push forward, opting to wait for a chance on the counter. It nearly cost them though. First, Beto Manone doing well to hang on to a cross as the imposing figure of Ludovic Ajok slid in. And then the big number 25 connecting with the next cross, but unable to find the target. Murphy's tenacity earned him another chance as he robbed an opposition defender. But once in on goal, he was unable to capitalise. Perhaps it should have squared for Julian Ponceau. Nonetheless, Lorient won up at the break. Strasbourg have won just one of their previous six meetings with Le Merlu. If they were to improve upon that stat, they'd now have to do so from behind. But whatever Stefan said at the interval must have struck a chord with his side. He came racing out of the blocks in the second half. With Jean-Ric Nebelgaard forcing a good save from Manone five minutes after the restart. Net refusing to bulge, the manager introduced Habib Diallo for the final quarter of the game. Continue to push. Kevin Gamero's raking pass put over by another substitute in Lebo Motiba. Certainly tricky to control on the bounce. But finally, with three minutes left on the clock, the pressure would pay off. And it would be that man, Diallo, who grabbed a deserved equaliser from a Belgard cutback. A big goal in the context of the match, but maybe a bigger one in the context of Stefan's career. An inspired substitution, maybe enough to keep him in a job over the break. Right place at the right time for the number 20. Finding the gap between the defenders. It is still just one win for Strasbourg, though. Their eighth draw of the season, and they remain 19th. Florian's disappointment at conceding a late equaliser may be tempered by the single point moving them back into the top five.